guys welcome back to my channel welcome to today's day in the life vlog um first of all i did something different with my makeup today which like i haven't really done in several years i tried doing like a brown shadow liner instead of a black winged eyeliner and i think i like it it's like a softer look my eyes are like pretty close set so like i need the wing to help balance things but the black liquid liner sometimes feels like I don't know a bit much so this is a softer look and I'm liking it I thought I would start today's vlog off with a little clothing haul because I actually got some clothing that is available I know shocking not thrifted um, I like I said in my last vlog I always um, get questions about like where my outfits are from and for the most part everything's thrifted and I have to be like sorry <laughs> so I thought I would show you what I got I met this girl Hallie at my friend Greer's wedding she actually was I can't remember if it was photographer or videographer one of the two for her wedding um, but since then she started her own book themed clothing shop it's like a Harry Potter themed clothing shop but she does other books sometimes too and recently she did an Akatar night court launch so you know I had to get some stuff and I wanted to show you we love supporting small businesses she's so sweet too like she's the most happy positive person and like watching her stuff always makes me want to just like romanticize my life which is so fun so the first thing I got is this Valkyries top and it says I am the rock against which the surf crashes if you haven't read Akasif it's a very R-rated book. Um, there are some spicy scenes. But the part of the book that I really liked was the Valkyrie training. Um, and I've mentioned that I've been doing like Valkyrie workouts and the um, like the meditation that they do. That's what the I Am The Rock Against Which The Surf Crashes is from. And that like really hit home for me. It's basically like a mindfulness practice, which is something I do in therapy. So I had to grab that. Then I'm obsessed with this. I got this baseball cap. This says inner circle on it. Isn't that so cute? I'm obsessed and it's like the cutest like vintage wash and it's two-toned and I'm obsessed with it. It's really fun. And then the last two pieces are like less overtly book themed. Um, the first one is this tank top which she named the snowball fight tank top if you know you know. I needed another knit white tank top because the one that I had thrifted like a couple years ago somehow got stained we don't know how um, but we could not save it with any kind of stain removing tricks so I bought a new one I thought this was very cute and then I'm stupid excited about these because I've been looking for a pair of lounge pants like these for ages I'll try this on for you guys these are like ribbed tan wide leg lounge pants and I like these because they're good for my height um, I'm curious pause the video now before I say how tall I am and go right in the comments how tall he would guess that I am because I I'm always shocked when I meet people that I watch on YouTube that they're like never the height that I think they are. So go comment. I'm like 5'2". I'm very short. 5'2 and a half. Um, and these actually work for me. They don't drag on the ground. I got them in a medium because I thought they had a drawstring waist and unfortunately the drawstring is fake so I probably should have gotten them in a small but they still work and I still think they're really cute. And then in the package, she put this little sticker that says, you are the main character. How sweet is that? My heart. So yeah, I'm obsessed. The shop, I don't even think I, I said, is called The Common Room. Common Room Shop. I'll link it down below so you guys can see their stuff. If you're a book nerd like I am, highly recommend checking them out because they have the cutest stuff and the cutest like original t-shirts and sweatshirts. And now they have a hat. Try this on for you. So here's the super cute... Valkyries t-shirt. I like wearing stuff like this in public because if somebody notices and comments on it, then I make a new friend <laughs> who's also interested in the same things that I'm interested in, but I think this is so cute. I want to be a Valkyrie. And then here's this tank top, the snowball fight tank top, and these pants. Like I said, they don't touch the ground, just barely. <laughs> I wish that they were just a little bit smaller, but that's my bad. This is a super cute, comfy outfit. Putting on my jewelry for the day. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna wear today because I'm taking Rowan to the zoo. I'm really excited. We have um, some friends who have like an annual pass to the zoo and so they get half price zoo tickets and they shared with us, which is so sweet. Um, so we're gonna go and meet them. But yeah, I'm excited for him to uh, see the animals and get to hang out with another baby. Um, I think it's gonna be really fun. I'm a little bit nervous because I can count on one hand the number of times I've taken him somewhere solo um, because Matt's been working from home for the past year and so we kind of always go everywhere together and we have, you know, two adults to deal with the stroller and the diaper bag and the baby and everything, but I'm sure it will be fine. It's not like I haven't done it before. I just haven't done it in a while. 
it's kind of gray out right now but it's supposed to get sunny later so i'm not entirely sure what to wear i have this atrocious tan line because i was dumb and didn't uh wear sunscreen the last time i actually hung out with the same person um, <laughs> we went to coffee and so i have that happening and i kind of want to get rid of it but a lot of the stuff that i wear like i don't have a proper tank top i have a lot of these like wider sleeveless tops so I don't know, maybe I'll change into something that might help with the, the tan line, but being smarter this time and wearing sunscreen also. I had sunscreen on my face at least last time, just not on my arms. But yeah, I'm gonna go pack the diaper bag um, and get the stroller in the car and everything and we'll see you guys at the zoo. Hi. All right. Well, that's clearly not it. Hey Siri, call Squishy Husband. Hi Squish. Hi, I can't get the stroller unfolded. What do I do? Uh, you have to unhook the little latch. Where? On the side of the handle. Um, it's black and long and rectangular. Oh, okay, I got it. Everything fell out, but I got it. Okay, we got it. Okay, we are here at the zoo. Um, I am late. <laughs> Rowan was he was about how I expected. He didn't scream the entire way, but he did cry for a decent portion of the trip. So now I'm trying to find ticketing because my friend is waiting for me and I'm very late and I feel really bad, but at least we're here. At least we got it. What do you think, little man? Are you sad? Are you ready to go see some animals? Let's go. We're home. Rowan slept for about a half an hour in the car and then woke up very disoriented and sad. Come here. You can do it. Yeah. Good job. Oh. Don't worry, I caught him. I need to eat something. I got a Trader Joe's chicken chili lime patty with avocado for a snack before dinner because it's like four o'clock, so it's too early to have dinner, but I need something, so. I just finished eating. I feel so much better. Um, and my father-in-law actually just came over to watch Rowan so I can work a little bit. Interrupt a nice coffee. Thank you. Ooh, that's good. What did you put in that? Lavender and honey. You're so sweet. Do you want to do our little our little mini date? Well, the card game thing? Yeah, before, before you game. Mm -hmm. Go do that. So Wednesday is our Matt's nights to play D&D &D with his friends. Um, but since I've been out all day, I want a little bit of quality time. So we're just gonna spend like 10 or 15 minutes together. And we're gonna use this. This is the uh, Cards with a Kick 66 Uncover to Discover cards. Um, and I wanna say a huge thank you to them for sponsoring this portion of today's video. This is such a fun game. It's available on Amazon. Execute order 66. <laughs> So basically it's 72 cards. Six of them are these twist cards, which I'll get into in a second. But these 66, that's why the game's named that, are all like conversation questions, but they're really good conversation questions. Like this is not like any other of these card games that I have found because the questions are like, 
I don't know, they're a little bit deeper and I feel like they help us to connect on a deeper level in our relationship because sometimes we get stuck having the same three conversations over and over and over again. I don't know what you're talking about. This is a really great way to have um, like screenless quality time together. We learn new things about each other. I don't know, it's just fun. So these ones are the questions and then these are the twist cards. Um, and the twist cards are something like, everyone answers the next question as if they are making a commercial voiceover. Oh, so you could play this in like a group. Yeah, so it's from two to they say 66 people, but really you could just play it with however many people you want. Do we know 66 people? <laughs> Doesn't feel like it after this pandemic. This is also a great thing to do like socially distantly. Um, if you haven't had a chance to get the vaccine yet, you're not comfortable around like groups of people, you could totally do this on like Zoom or FaceTime if somebody has the deck. I'll make sure I link it down below. Um, it's really fun. All right, let's get into some, some deep okay. soul searching questions. Like, would you rather? I separated all of these twist cards so I could show them. So now I have to like shuffle them back up. Fight one duck sized horse. <laughs> or a hundred, wait. Horse-sized ducks? Right, but it's a hundred. Oh, <laughs> okay. A, I mixed it up. <laughs> this is a super easy thing for us to do as parents during Roman's nap time or whatever. It doesn't take a lot of prep and planning to have a really meaningful date. Oh, <laughs> just cut these in half. Also, road trips. This would be great for road trips. How can you read the cards if you're driving? <laughs> the passenger would have to read. Oh. What was my yearbook quote? I didn't even have a yearbook quote. If I had a yearbook if, quote, okay. what would it be? I feel like if you had a yearbook quote, <laughs> it would be, if you have a problem with me, that's your fault. <laughs> Do you know what my yearbook quote I was? I probably would have picked some like one-liner from a movie or something. What was really big that in, makes sense. in 2007. What was yours? You probably know mine. You might not be able to get it off the top of your head, but you probably know it. Is it from Light in the Piazza? <laughs> no, but no. I think you, I think you're thinking of the right thing. You just don't know what it's from. That doesn't help. It was my, it was an early username of mine. No? The Fault in Our Stars? No. <laughs> mine was, you are enough, you are so enough, it's incredible Oh my gosh, I totally forgot about that. The thing that I needed to hear. See, it gets deep fast. <laughs> Which spy mission would you send me on and under what cover? Which spy mission? Like, is there a list of spy <laughs> missions? I think you get to be creative. I would send you on a mission to gather intel about someone and you don't even need a cover you could just be like your friendly youtube <laughs> self you wouldn't be megan acuna but you would be like galadriel <laughs> thornberry and like i don't know galadriel thornberry at your service <laughs> oh my <cheeks> hurt. <laughs> <laughs> and you would just be like la 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 doing your thing your chatty <laughs> friendly thing and then they you would find out all their deepest darkest secrets Oh my gosh. Okay, you pick one. Oh, this one's easy. Which household chore do I hate? Bunny tray. Bunny tray. Doing the bunny's litter tray. To be fair, it's the worst. I'm, I'm scared for his answer to this one. <laughs> you should be. You don't even know what it is yet. To just be scared in general of all your opinions of me. You should be scared about anything that I'm about to say on any given vlog. <laughs> what am I like when I'm hungry? Very impatient. You have impatient. You have less tolerance for my shenanigans of any That's fair. of any like of any sort. It's the little things that like normally you're kind of like sort of irritated with me for like not doing. Usually it's stuff I'm not doing. I get more in trouble for not doing things I'm supposed to do than I do things that I just do. Like that, that makes sense. I asked you to move that effing salamander pot <laughs> out in the garden before Rowan's birthday. Oh, and it's guess still what? there. It's still there because I don't think about it until like I'm down here looking at it and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to move that. But also like it's heavy and my back hurts and it's full of dirt and where am I going to put excuses, it? Excuses, excuses. I have to put it somewhere where she can't see it and like that's everywhere in the yard. That's interesting that you said impatient. I think that's really valid, but that's not what I would have thought. I would have just probably gone straight to hangry, but that's like the awesome thing about this game is like, I can see me and you can see you like through each other's eyes, like how we perceive each other. <laughs> I think we learn a little bit about ourselves along the way. And it's it's good for communication too. I think it's my turn. Oh, you're right, it is. Stop, double, double It's going. fun! What is the best way to wake me up in the morning? <laughs> I think that's answer enough. Wait, no, what would be the best way to wake me up? Well, morning? that's my answer. You've not never that I... done that, not once. Yeah, but that would be the best way to wake you up. The best way to wake you up. It's the best way you've ever woken me up. Is 
a smiling, happy baby patting you to get your attention. Closely followed by bringing me breakfast in bed like you Which did I, on Father's yeah. Day. That was awesome. I should do that more often just for no occasion. You should. What would I want us to do together that we haven't done yet? Right now, go to New York. Oh, yeah. There's a little asterisk. It says, so it's a date? Uh, so now you have to take me to New York, I guess. You got $500. Seriously, tickets are stupid cheap right now. You could fly both of us round trip for like 500 bucks. <laughs> this would be a good one. You threw me a surprise party. How would you get me there without making me suspicious? I would say that we had something to pick up somewhere from Facebook Marketplace. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. But also, I'm like, not willingly, but just kind of naturally oblivious. Like, yeah, he doesn't I, try to figure stuff out and ruin the surprise for himself. I do. Yeah, I like being surprised. Like, surprise party would be great. <gasps> hey, my birthday's coming up later this month. <laughs> oh, no, no, I have to throw you a surprise party. You don't have to. I'll get planning. We'll start looking on Facebook on your place. I'll but yeah, so I like party. being surprised, so I don't, I wouldn't, it would be so, it would take a lot for me to get suspicious. Hmm. But I would just be like oblivious and be like, oh, I'm like a bird. Yeah. I typically, if I feel like something is afoot, I'll try to figure it out. Even if I don't want to, like my brain subconsciously will start working on it. Or like presents. I can't tell you how many presents I peeked at. I'm spoiled for myself. Presents I've got you? I'm not going to say <gasps> whose presents. <gasps> but I'm really good about it. I haven't done it in a few years. <laughs> Never buying you anything again. <gasps> What's different about me when I'm among strangers? Also acceptable, what's different about me in my videos versus Or should it be amongst real life? strangers? There's a lot more nervous laughter because you're constantly afraid of saying something stupid or, <laughs> or wrong that someone's gonna judge you. And you become much more agreeable. Agreeable? Yeah. What do you mean? To like, could be because in that same like social anxiety of not wanting to disagree with someone and wanting someone to like you, you, you become more agreeable to just like, oh yeah, totally, I agree. And I'll be like listening to them and go, Oh, you mean like one more with actually, people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I thought, yeah. If it was just like you and me and a bunch of group of strangers, you would be very snuggly. <laughs> You'd be like this the whole time. This too. What about on camera? What's different about me on camera versus real life? You have a YouTube voice. I don't think I do. You absolutely do when you're just like talking to me versus when the camera's on. Is, you're gonna overthink it. Now. Is my my YouTube voice the same as my like around other people voice? Versus like when it's just yes. you and me? Okay. So it's like a public versus like a- Like Joycey's rooftop party? Mm -hmm. Same YouTube voice. So it's not a YouTube voice, it's a- Performance voice. That's the other thing, you project more, you're louder, your volume goes mm, up. Okay, that makes Because you're sense. like enunciating for yeah. the camera. <laughs> so do you think it's like more professional professional okay interesting i don't think there's anything wrong with that you know you, no i mean like, i'm still me i'm if not I being if i spoke to everyone you know like i was talking to you you know just like you know just like whatever people would probably think i was very dry and you know but like when i'm around strangers like i'm like performing half the time i'm just like hey a new audience hey yeah you, how about you airplane ham, airline food sure. da, 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 because da. <laughs> people like are around people that aren't sick of all the same stupid 10 jokes that I tell over and over again. Yeah, there's there's a different level of just like, I wouldn't go into a public place and just like take my bra off through the side of my shirt and be like, ah, the same way I would around you. Traffic, am I right? Yeah. But like when I go out to lunch with like my supervisors and stuff, I act very differently. So, you know, yeah. it's like you, Interesting. You, you have to read the room and adjust your, your, not behavior, but your behavior, you know, based I, on who you're with. I think part of it too, um, is that both of us are more family friendly. Not that we're terribly not family friendly normally, but like we go from like PG 13 to like G rated when we're on camera so that I don't get demonetized. I think that's a big, like thinking about like reading the room and, and right. stuff like that. Like that's different about us on cameras. Like, like in real life, like, Sometimes we do say bad words, like... No, we don't. <laughs> Shucks. Shucks. <laughs> oh, rats. <laughs> so, like, that's... We really... Like, Rowan repeats every word he hears now, so it's just like... We do have to be more careful. Crap. I mean, crud. <laughs> I mean, carp. What would you never change about me? Play us home, Megan. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I would never change what a big heart you have towards others. You are always the first person to help someone in need, or, like give to, to someone who needs it and just like go out of your way to like even picking up trash or like buying extra food at the drive through for somebody experiencing homelessness. Like you have such a big heart and a big fart too. 
Well, you had to go and ruin it. <laughs> it was getting too real. <laughs> I know you have to go and do your game thing, so I won't, I won't require any more of your time. But if you guys are looking for a fun little like date activity to do or activity to do with a group of friends, honestly, this is so much fun. I highly recommend it. Again, it's called uh, The Cards with a Kick 66 Uncover to Discover, and I'll link it down in the description. My very cute husband finished his computer that he's been working on and wanted to show you guys. So. Yeah. <laughs> Give us the tour, baby. You can fit so many case fans in this bad boy. <laughs> I'm not gonna know what any of this means. All right, come on, come around the back. Okay. And come this way. So this is the 5000D Airflow from Corsair. Very big case. Power it on here. Full tempered glass wow, here. Wow, I couldn't even tell. There. It looks like there's nothing. That's, That's weird. because it's new, so there's no dust. No. And uh, got 32 gigabytes of Dominator Platinum RAM. We have a, my AIO, which is only a 240 millimeter. I think I'm gonna get a 360 millimeter rad, so it extends fully across the top instead of just being on that side. And I have a XFX Radeon 6900 XT graphics card. How long have you been wanting that? Well, since they launched in like October, and for the longest time I thought I was gonna get a 3080 Founders Edition, but this costs less than those do right now, except the market's coming down because China banned cryptocurrency. This was costing less than 3080 Founders Edition, you know, outside of MSRP, but I couldn't get one at MSRP, so whatever. So I got this and it's amazing and I might still get a 3080 someday, but this looks fantastic for now. It needs a name. Give me your, your naming suggestions. Snowballs. Snowballs. <laughs> Maybe like avalanche, you know, something like not small and cute. This is not a small, cute, this is not a snowball, this is like, most importantly, what can you do with this computer that you couldn't do with the old one? Oh, yeah, so the processor is a 5900X, um, 12 cores, 24 threads, and so what I will be able to do now is stream and play games on the same machine instead of using a dual PC setup. So that's incredible. I'm proud of you. Oh, there's somebody at the somebody door. Somebody at the door. It's package? It's gotta be a package. Oh, it's your uh, shampoo. Oh, nice. Da -da. Dun, dun, dun. Look, an infant! It has an infant setting! <laughs> oh my goodness, Roro Bean! It has a setting about you. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Look at those cute, look at those cute baby chicks. Oh, blah, 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 blah. oh he's so cute. He's so, oh, your battery's dying. <laughs> okay. The best part of opening a Lush package is smelling it before you even get whatever it is out. <laughs> the big, big! This is my favorite shampoo. It lasts me like 10 months. Did you get pick any samples or anything? No. Still Great. smells good. Oh, I messed up. You didn't mess up. It's fine. The I was having Matt place the shampoo order for me because well I didn't. No, keep, I offered to do it because you said you were going to do it and then you never did. Yeah, so I, I keep like, forgetting. Oh, but I always will like get something extra because I can pay like eight dollars for like a bath bomb and it gets free shipping versus paying six dollars for shipping. So not a big deal. He forgot to do that, but that's okay. I didn't forget to do it. I was just like, yeah, six dollars in shipping, whatever. It's not like I need anything else from Lush. And then I was like, what do you mean I don't need anything else from Lush? This is the best shampoo though, for real. Oh, it does smell good. Even the paper smells good. Yeah, Lush doesn't mess around, man. Wow. Hey Lush, hit us up with that sponsorship. Oh my gosh. I don't think they sponsor anyone. No. Except maybe Zoe Sug. <laughs> I think she did like a collaboration with them or oh, something. I remember that. We are lush stands in this household. Matt and I went on a very cute date in Tacoma, which is like way south, the other day. Um, if you were on my Instagram stories, you will have seen it already. But one of the things that we did was stop in a little... <laughs> <laughs> what is with you today? I love it. <laughs> okay, so like I was saying, before the battery died, uh, we stopped in this little store and we got this puzzle. Look at how cute. Clearly I'm in like a B mood after Rowan's birthday party. So we got that to do together while we watch Disney movies. Um, but I also got these, which I'm so excited about. I've been looking for a pair of these forever. They're little like garden scissors. Um, and I have some flowers in a little pot on our back patio. And I think if I can get there we go, the protective tip off of these. I'm gonna cut a few for a little bouquet. My like proper cut flower garden that I'm growing isn't quite harvestable yet, yeah? Now we have other scissors. Yeah, but look how cute! <laughs> um, I planted like dahlias and baby's breath and peonies and yarrow. I planted a lot of stuff, but it's not ready yet. But at least the daisies on the patio are. So we're gonna make a little bouquet. Did you show them this? <laughs> no, I've got a lot of mail today. I also got this cute little star tea diffuser so that I can feel like Nesta in Polaris. Oh my god. The city of starlight with my star tea diffuser drinking tea. Anyways, I've gone off the deep end.
look how pretty. I left them kind of like wild looking. Like I didn't make them all the same length because I like the look of that better. It'll be so exciting when I have lots of different kinds of flowers and I can do like an actual arrangement. For now, I think maybe next time I'm out on a walk or a run, I might get some like wild flowers from the side of the road to intersperse with these. But for now, I think that's so sweet. I grew those. Not me talking about Akatar in every vlog. <laughs> Everybody's always like, oh, Elaine is so boring. She has no personality. Meanwhile, I'm out here growing flowers and baking bread and wearing pretty cottage core dresses and basically just being Elaine. <laughs> I hope that her book, whenever it comes out, I know there's a novella coming out this fall, obviously. Well, maybe at the time of this video goes up, but right now we don't know whose point of view it is, but I hope that hers is good because she and I are very similar, <laughs> like aesthetically at least. So I need, I need justice. It's like, it's like being a Hufflepuff back in like 2008. Like everybody thought that it was so boring, but being a Hufflepuff was awesome. Now I need to feed my sourdough starter. I went like two weeks without feeding it. It was in the fridge, but still I've been feeding it every day um, for like three, four days now to try to just like get it strong again before I try to make any bread. So that's what I'm gonna do. I've got it in this big container, which is way too big for it, but my other one was dirty. So I'm gonna use this to do my discard. And I'm gonna do half, oh, <laughs> half white flour half wheat flour. It's about a cup of flour total. I used to measure it, but I've been doing this for two years, so I can just eyeball it now. And about half a cup of distilled water. You wanna use distilled water um, because your tap water might have chlorine in it, and if it does, then it will kill the bacteria that make your sourdough starter a sourdough starter. Stir her up with a wooden spoon. And there we go. Hopefully that'll double in size by tonight. So I'm finally sitting down to get some work done, but I wanted to talk about our outing today because in all transparency, it was really tough. Um, I'm not used to taking Rowan anywhere by myself and I know that's kind of pathetic, but honestly, we've been in a pandemic and there hasn't been anywhere to go or anywhere we should go. And then, you know, Matt's working from home. So even if we do go somewhere, he's usually with me. And it's so much easier when one parent can handle like the stroller and the diaper bag and the other one can like sit in the back seat with the baby um, so that he doesn't freak out. So I did it solo and first of all, like I mentioned, I was terribly late because Rowan did not respect my schedule, <laughs> you know, like a baby. So I was like super stressed trying to get there and then as you probably saw, I couldn't figure out the stroller, so I had to call Matt. And once we were there, we had an awesome time. It was great. The only incident there was I like pulled off to the side of one of the exhibits to like change his diaper because I thought it was just pee and I could like change it really quickly and like just keep him covered and it would all be fine. And then it ended up being poop and it ended up being a much bigger ordeal than I thought it would be. But then we had a great time until the ride home um, where like I said, he fell asleep and then got all disoriented and screamed for like 20 minutes. And I sang Baby Shark for like 20 minutes to try to get him to calm down um, and it worked periodically on and off but yeah I just thought I would mention that all of that happened because I sometimes feel a lot of imposter syndrome around being a mom because I haven't had to or haven't gotten to like practice being a single parent the way that I probably would have outside of the times that we're living in and so some things are still really hard like in in some ways I still feel like I'm just learning how to mom and I don't want it to ever look like oh Megan has it all together and it comes so effortlessly to her because it doesn't and I have my share of you know dropping the stroller in the parking lot and getting poop all over the pants at the zoo <laughs> I don't think anybody has all their crap together and I wanted to be honest about that because it was so fun but it was also really hard and I learned something and next time I go somewhere solo with him that's like more than a half an hour away you know, I'll, I'll be better prepared and I'll know things and I'm just learning. Anyways, <laughs> I should take advantage of the fact that my father-in-law is here babysitting and actually get some work done. So I'm going to end the vlog here, but thank you guys so much for spending the day with me. I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.